All right, nowhere's muted. That's good. So you guys want to watch this? Because I, I got to see what the fuck they do. 30 minutes of smash. Hmm. Well, that's a lot of nose. All right. We won't watch it then. But let me skip to some good parts at least. Let me just, okay. All right, let me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna scan it as if I was watching it myself, but I just gonna get the info. Okay, I don't know what that is. Okay, I don't care. There's countless play pop. This guy's gonna talk for a while. Is a Pokeball Plus. Okay, Pokemon Go. Or some shit. Three, two, mini game. I want rematch. This looks cool. What is this? Oh, this is Mario Party! Oh, shit! This looks fun. Hopefully, this Mario Party... ...is better... ...than the last ones that have come out. Hmm. Sorry, I was eating. Hopefully this Mario Party is better than the last ones to come out. Because, like, the best Mario Parties are actually the older ones, because they just did it better back then. These newer ones just have so much shit thrown in there. It's just dumb. ...received a revelation from the goddess. A gift to help guide the lost. Fire Emblem? Is it... Go ahead. Give me orders. I'm not really ever going to play that game, I don't think. Okay, what is this? Fortnite on the Switch. Whatever. I can't wait to drop off the battle bus and meet some of you on the battlefield in Fortnite. And on Nintendo Switch, you can have the complete battle royale experience. Whether playing together online with friends, unbreaking game, chefs, ready your cleavers, pots, and cutting boards in Overcooked 2. A sequel that's brimming with more recipes, characters, kitchens, and white knuckle. Hold on, I'm here to change my title, I think. Yeah. Change my title. Features, like the ability to throw Ooh, Overcooked. Kitchens, this is actually a really fun game. Fly, Wait. And with Nintendo Switch, the opportunity to bake, barbecue, or broil with another player in wireless, local, and online play. Oh, it has Save online. Okay, Overcooked is actually a really, really fun game. I don't know if this is like stealing us Overcooked. Whatever, that's fine. But Overcooked doesn't have online. That's the downside of it. So that's going to be sick. Enemies queen to claim victory in Killer Queen Black. Redesigned from the ground up, Liquid Bit and Bumble Bear Games acclaimed arcade extravaganza that became a multiplayer oh, is overcooked? is okay. coming to Nintendo Switch. And for the first time on console, two teams of up to four each can square off in exciting battles. Play it first on Nintendo Switch later this year. And finally, venture through the mysterious subterranean landscapes of a vast forgotten kingdom and Teen Cherry's Hollow Knight, an action adventure filled with gripping combat and haunting secrets. Hand-drawn characters and sublime scenery abound in this sweeping platformer that offers endless hours of intricate exploration. We revealed earlier this year that Hollow Knight was coming to Nintendo Switch, and I'm pleased to announce that the game, packed with all the previous downloadable content, is available on the Nintendo eShop starting today. These are just a few of the terrific indie games you can play in the months ahead. After this presentation, stay tuned for Nintendo Treehouse Live. What is that? Streaming right from the E3 show floor. Where our Nintendo game experts... That doesn't look like a treehouse. What the fuck? Look ...at some of these games and more. And I personally cannot wait to watch as intrepid challengers test their mettle 
in our Splatoon 2 World Championship and Super Smash Brothers Invitational 2018, the action starts immediately following Nintendo Treehouse Live. Before we move on, I have an important update on a game I know fans have been looking forward to. Octopath Traveler what? from Square Enix is coming exclusively for Nintendo Switch on what July is this game? 13. And you can download a brand new demo for the game from the Nintendo eShop on June 14th. Now, let's take another action-packed look at some more experiences. So many adjectives. To Nintendo Switch. Everything feels so fake if you use too many adjectives. What is, I don't know any of these games really. Just Dance on Switch, okay. I wonder how good the Splatoon players are in like competitive Splatoon. Oh, my cursor, right. Okay, can I skip this? Oh my god. Oh, Dark Souls, cool. Just beat it though. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Shinya Takahashi of Nintendo. I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. Recently, it's been nice to see people pull their Nintendo Switch systems from their bags to play, even when they have only a little bit of free time. Every time I see that, I can't help but smile. At Nintendo, we approach development with the goal of delivering new and unique games to surprise people all over the world, and we're thankful for the many publishing partners also making games for Nintendo Switch. Today, we share just a small portion of what we're currently working on. We hope you will look forward to what's the coming dubbed next version. on Nintendo Switch. <laughs> now, it's time to share information on a certain title. I'll turn it over to someone I think you know. Oh. Hi, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. Today, I'd like to introduce you to the new Super Smash Bros. game for the Nintendo Switch. As you may know, Super huh. Smash Bros. is an action game about smashing beloved game characters off the screen. Many fighters have appeared in the series. <laughs> I'm sure you are all eager to find out who will be joining the roster this time. So we made a video to showcase some fighters appearing in the game. The number next to each fighter signifies the order in which they joined the Super Smash Bros. series. Please take a look. Why are we skipping so many? Oh, we're gonna go back. Okay. I'm surprised they didn't just go in order. From one, two, three, four. I think that'd be cooler. Wait, what? Oh, I guess they want to, like, you know, introduce Fox with, like, Falco. Right? It makes sense. A little bit, I guess. Yo, where's she get? <laughs> I hate the mountain climbers. Ugh.
Ness is awesome. Whoa. Ryu. Ike? Whoa, Cloud. I may play Cloud, dude. I won't lie. There's Roy. Bayonetta. I really don't know who I'm going to play. I'm curious to see. Cool picture. Ping. That's right. Every fighter in Super Smash Bros. history is joining the battle. Indeed, absolutely every Super Smash Bros. fighter ever is in this game, whether they were originally DLC or only appeared once in the past. We believe that's what players want, so we made the impossible possible. Any way you slice it, this one has the most smash for your buck. Simply put, this is the biggest crossover in gaming history. Once again, worlds will collide. Even Dang. so, your starting roster may be as small as the original Nintendo 64 game. We've streamlined the conditions for unlocking fighters, and we want to make the process interesting, so it feels like you're constantly recruiting popular characters to your side. Eight-player battles like that. are also making a return. See what happens when you pit many different fighters against one another. Now let's take a closer look at certain fighters by highlighting how they've changed since their last appearance. Mario still easy. Chat, to you guys use, never played the original 64 game by unlocking from his latest uh, like adventure. Ness he can also and Falco. And or sorry, outfits. yeah, Falco. Or Captain Falcon. Oh my god, I'm getting him confused. Link dons as champions like, do you guys don't remember doing Legend that? Of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. His bombs are now remotely detonated. And his final smash unleashes ancient arrows. He can also wear Link's familiar tunic of the wild. Although it's been a while, the two in one fighter, the Ice Climbers, are back. Work together with Nana. Once she's gone, you're in serious trouble. Ike's outfit from Fire Emblem Path of Radiance returns, along with his look from Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Now you can use both versions for the first time. It's one big motherfucker. The two different versions are even voiced a little differently. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. That was so different. <laughs> we now have the female version of Pikachu, complete with a heart-shaped tail. Did you notice Pikachu Libre is a girl? Fox's design is now based on Star Fox Zero, okay. and his final smash has received an overhaul. This time, final smashes are straight to the point, so you can get right back to fighting. There's my boy. Falco's final smash features an unorthodox ship formation that's more unruly than Fox's. Either way, the Landmaster has been retired. In one-on-one -on -one fights, Ryu will always face his opponents, just like in his original game appearances. 
It's a small touch that reduces accidental command inputs. Charge moves like Samus's charge shot can now power up in midair. You can cancel with jump or dodge, but you'll be open to attack. Marth's dancing blade is faster and it's easier to unleash one after another. Whoa. This holds true for Roy and Lucina too. In addition, Marth is now fully voiced. Marth! In Keep your eyes open! Back by popular demand, veteran fighter Snake is sneaking back into the fray. It's been 10 years since his last appearance in the series, so we can finally make some new dream matches come true. Of course, Shadow Moses Ivan is back too. King DDD's final smash is basically a cage fight where he unleashes missiles and a jet hammer. Damn. Pichu is also returning from Super Smash Bros. Melee. Its electric shock still damages itself too, so be careful. In The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Zelda is more into research than fighting, so her design is from The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. Zelda is much more elegant and regal than our other fighters, what about Sheik? but we made sure you wouldn't underestimate her energetic attacks. Her final smash is a ceiling move called Triforce of Wisdom. Oh, there she is. Sonic's final smash, Super Sonic, is more souped up than ever. Either you're too slow, or he's lightning fast. Pac-Man also got a speed boost this time around. What the fuck? Looping her on the stage sounds just like Pac-Man, don't you think? Pokemon Trainer is back with Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard. You can change Pokemon during battle, and this what? time there's no penalty for sticking with one, so feel free to pick your main. That's actually pretty sick. Also, you can play as a female trainer for the first time. Oh, thank God. Whew. Some fighters, like Captain Falcon, trigger a dramatic slow-mo effect on strong attacks in one-on-one -on -one fights. And of course, I like his that. hazardous big blue stage is making a return. My, Just like before, I may play you can this play guy as Cloud in his Final Fantasy VII costume or his Final Fantasy VII Advent Children costume. Now you can see his limit gauge near his damage percentage at all times. Special displays are available for certain other fighters too. For example, you can see how much longer Robin can use Levin Sword and Tomes. For Villager, we made it easier to see what you've pocketed. Between the male and female versions, there are eight different Villagers. Hmm. Bowser's final smash, Giga Bowser, is even bigger and better. He's now as big as Bowser from the Yoshi's Island game. Oh my god. All of Mr. Game & Watch's moves are back, and he looks even more like he did in his original games. His transformations are more full of character than ever. Young Link from Super Smash Bros. Melee is making a comeback that makes three links for the first time. Whoa! Lon Lon Milk, anyone? After 10 long years, Wolf makes his return. His design is based on Star Fox Zero, and each of his moves has received a significant upgrade. Damn! Kirby is his usual puffy self. But we've added a little something to his stone ability. <laughs> he has a copy ability for every fighter, so the more fighters we have, the more challenging he becomes to develop. Shulk used to require repeated button presses to toggle Monado arts. But now you can choose a specific one with a button press and a quick directional tilt. Sure is handy to change arts on the fly. We also added Fiora to his final smash. Dang. Some each one of these characters, some take Ganondorf so much longer to rises make. Again, returning to his popular design from the Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. And for his final smash, he becomes Demon King Ganon. Mii Fighter's proportions have been tweaked a bit. There are three types: Brawler, Sword Fighter, 
and gunner. The moveset for each type has also been enhanced, and you can now choose from 12 voice options. We're hoping to get this. Previously, Pit's final smash was three sacred treasures. This time, he'll be riding in style on the lightning chariot. In the last game, Zero Suit Samus's final smash called in her gunship. This time, she uses her power suit to fire a devastating laser. Ooh. When Olimar gets damaged, you'll see a crack in his helmet. But don't worry, it'll get fixed up right away. Bayonetta's costumes from her first two games are both available. Listen closely and you'll hear differences in the sound effects. It seems we have a guest. Rodan appears as an assist trophy. Warrior's final smash, Warrior Man, has changed quite a bit. After transforming, he no longer uses individual attacks to get the job done. Donkey Kong's final smash is all rapid-fire punches like Donkey Kong Jungle Beat. You'll notice that he and other fighters have expressive new facial animations. This Little Max's final smash is now a rush of blows from Giga Max. In fact, all final smash moves in the game get right to the punch. Ness's new final smash calls on Paula and Pooh. Of course, Jeff still shows up as an assist trophy. Likewise, Lucas's final smash features Kumatora and Boney. At first glance, Wii Fit Trainer seems the same, but her face has a new look. I wavered a bit on whether to change it, but it was a request from the Wii Fit developers. We've included all the hazards from both versions of Mega Man Stage from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS. And for his final smash, say hello to Proto Man and Bass. You got so many fucking characters! This time around. There's so many! And her down special is now both a counter and a deflector. Get fucked. Rob has a new gauge on his chassis, showing how much fuel he has left for hovering. Notice the Epsilon symbols next to Lucina and Dark Pit's numbers? Each of these fighters are based on another fighter in the game. We're treating these fighters a little differently, and have decided to call them Echo Fighters. Allow me to introduce a brand new Echo Fighter. Daisy joins the roster as Peach's Echo Fighter. She fights in a similar manner as Peach, but they have different characteristics, which we hope you'll enjoy. Have fun playing as your favorite princesses. All in all, if you add up the changes we're making, there could be tens of thousands. Oh, I will. I hope yeah. you're looking forward to some serious matchups. And here's a new fighter. Oh. Okay. Inkling is a completely new addition to the roster. If you ink opponents, they'll take more damage from attacks. Different weapons are available as smash attacks or special attacks. The splatter shot, splat bomb, splat roller, and the final smash. Killer Whale. You can actually run out of ink, so it's important to refill by pressing the B button while shielding. Inkling Boy also debuts alongside Inkling Girl. Inklings are very fashionable. All eight have their own outfits. And each has their own ink color, so matches get really bright. By the way, we added in the Squid Sisters as an assist trophy. During their live concert, the camera zooms in for a close-up. That means it's easier to get knocked off the screen.
While we're on the topic of assist trophies, let me share some additional information. As you may know, assist trophies lend helpful support in battles. It was like the you overall like character design and like combat design damage. actually probably took and so now much time. You get points for it too. That's all I'm thinking about. And like each character, like adding those However, platoon characters probably took a fuck ton of time. Maybe an unexpected. But that's just one character. Your battle. Yep, it's him. There's a wide variety. More than 50 of them appear in the game. Of course, we're also adding even more Pokemon and items. We can't wait to show you. Ooh. Hmm. There are a variety of stages available in this game as well, including a massive list of returning stages. If you get a group together to play, it'll be a challenge to hit them all. The graphics have been improved as well. Of course I have. Let's get a look at some stages from various games. Uh, I'm very interested in this. I love Super Smash. Oh god. That's creepy. Oh shit. Die, monkey. All stages now have both Battlefield and Omega Forms too. Omega Forms? These versions hover above an abyss. Their sizes and terrain are all the same, so savor the simplicity with music and backgrounds from your favorite series. I like that. Those are probably like the most competitive maps. Let's take a sneak peek at the new and returning techniques you can pull off during battles. The directional, directional air dodge enhances mobility. Ooh. It can come in handy when recovering from a fall. However, if you dodge too much, even on the ground, you'll be wide open to attack and your duration of intangibility gets shorter. You can execute short hop attacks by pressing the A button and jump at any time. Also, you can smash attack by pressing the A and B buttons just like the previous game. A perfect shield occurs when you release the shield button. Until now, you were able to pull it off without any major risk, but going forward, you'll need to time it carefully. For one-on-one -on -one battles, the damage dealt will now be greater than in battles with higher numbers of players. This should help ensure that the action is well-paced. In a timed battle, the fighter in the lead will sometimes flash with light. Better do something, or no victory pose for you. Dang. We've got something special for your playing pleasure in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. There's more! God! Nintendo oh. GameCube controllers can be yes. used in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Yes. For many of you, it just isn't the same without them. Not to mention, all Super Smash Bros. series amiibo figures are compatible this time as well. In fact, 
All fighters' current amiibo figures will be supported, even if they're from a different series. Tap a compatible amiibo figure to add in a figure player, or FP, and level up. Your FP data from previous titles can be transferred. We hope you're as excited as we are. Our staff will continue working hard until the game releases. We really appreciate your support. We've made including every single fighter ever our number one goal, so I'm kind of hoping you aren't expecting too many new challengers. However, we do have one more announcement. Please, take a look. Oh shit. What? What the fuck? It's fucking huge. Damn. That was cool. That's a That's not too bad. That says here. Fuck yeah, dude. Wait, what? Is that it? I'm confused. What's going on? Okay, that was the end. Damn. Uh. Uh. Uh, okay, I'm gonna try and turn notifications on again. Hopefully it doesn't crash my OBS like it just did a second ago. We're good. Oh no. God. Thanks for streaming, Chuck. I binge watched your Detroit Become Human videos on YouTube. Thanks for that. Uh, after my shoulder surgery. Thank you for the three, man. Hope you feel better. Oh, uh, no. Fred Panda gave me three, asking to follow someone. No. Photo artist from Digital said Nintendo had more Final Fantasy than Square Enix's E3. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Dim Panda gave me three. How many times have you crapped yourself on stream while drinking? Uh, not too many times. Maybe like four or five. I mean, every time I ever have shit myself because I, like, sharded oh, or something, no. I told him, everyone, so not that many times. Uh, it closes. Actually, I'll drag this up. We well, like this song. Oh, no. That is a very loud notification. Jesus. Thank you, Chawler. Yeah, I could also play Dark Souls 3. I don't know. Jurassic World, Dark Souls 3. Oh, no. Hello. Hello. Jurassic World Evolution. Okay, I'll play this. Oh, so no. That is really loud. I gotta turn that down. Dude. Oh, no. Hello. It's from Dark Souls.
Alright. In Twitch, there are all sorts of pride emotes, but where the fuck is my attack helicopter pride? Like, seriously, this discrimination has to stop. So to help the community and do something about this. Okay. Sounds good. Thanks, dude. God. Oh, no. Nintendo was basically some guy reading out the patch notes for Super Smash Bros. for 15 minutes. No joke. Dude, I was okay with what I just watched. I don't know. I don't really have any complaints. I like Super Smash Bros. Oh, no. Looking at every single character, looking at the gameplay of it, etc. I'm good with it. Whatever. Very Thanks for... Good. Thanks for streaming. Oh no! Are you ever planning on coming to Germany for some event or something? We have uh, less femi Nazis, you know here. Oh, uh, I don't really care about that. Probably not. Hello. Probably not. I don't know any reason to go to Germany for me. Thank you, Cho Jungle. Hello. Uh, stretch. Thank you, King Laos. Gamescom? No, I've only heard bad things about it. That it's too crowded, too annoying. I couldn't stream there. I'd rather stay home and play Warcraft 3 or something, or World oh, of Warcraft. No. <sighs> I've just heard bad things. Stop hating Germany. I don't hate Germany. I mean, like, there's no reason for me to go to France. <laughs> no reason for me to go to Australia. Shit, honestly, I just don't want to leave the house, dude. Can y'all stop? Very good. Uh, there was more with actual gameplay in the treehouse with Masahiro Sakari. Oh, like more stuff to watch. I don't. Really, I'm, gonna, I'm about to play a game, dude. Thank you, Nine is God. Appreciate the oh, five. No. Let's open this game up. Let's do it. All right, Jurassic World. Hello. <clears throat> right, I like this song, but I'm gonna mute this. Jurassic Park, The Lost World, Jurassic Park, Jurassic Park. Very good. Am I watching a movie? <laughs> All right. New sub sound for today? Pog. Bart, I'm not taking sub sounds, man. Every character except Waluigi, pour one out. S poor Waluigi, dog. I just wanted to donate. Don't know if you were going to see a Pokemon. Very Wait. Good. Want to know if we're going to see a Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu playthrough. I don't even know what that is. I'm sorry. Thank you for the three, Faint. All right. Um, I think everything's good. Hello. Continue. You just watched it? Um, I didn't watch. I skipped to the Smash Bros. I didn't see anything else. Oh, no. What are you talking about? Did I, I just watched it? I just watched Super Smash Bros. I guess I skipped it. Oh, no. Probably skipped it. Borderless, V-Sync, off, lock curse in one window. Oh, no. It's cool. I can actually, like, alt-tab and it doesn't fuck the game over. I like that. Terms and conditions. Oh, I gotta read this. Get out of here. Oh, no. Okay, dude. I love this sub sound, but man, it is brutal right now. Uh. Okay, how about this? Oh, no. Okay, I'm gonna mute sub sounds, but everything else can stay. The sub sound, I love, I love getting subs, but man, hello, hello, 
Nice to see ya. Oh god, I'm gonna die. <laughs> Hello. I'm I'm wait. I need it muted, dude. <laughs> Hello. Keep it. Feels good, but you guys are awful, man. <laughs> Pokemon. Hello. Let's go, Pikachu. Is so casual, they literally don't like you fight gym leaders with having a super efficient type Pokemon. I don't even know what that means, dude. I don't care. Very good. See, there we go. Very good. Um, this is what the game is. And he linked a video. I'm not, I'm not trying to watch videos right now, guys. I'm really not. Okay, let me see. It's a three minute video. Okay, I'll, I actually, I'm, I'll watch oh, no. this. Just don't donate me videos, please. Oh, I've seen this. Hello. This was a Pikachu game or just looked like Pokemon Go? Very good. To make it $10, by the way, the sub sound sounds like, a la, you're, you're never going to unhear that. Probably not. Sick game, dude. Okay. So what does this have to do with Pikachu? I thought you guys were like talking about maybe like a Pikachu RPG or some shit. It's just Pokemon Go on the Switch. I can play with a Pokeball. Why would I want to do this? Okay, so it's like... Oh, that's pretty cool. You can go outside and get, like, Pokemon and then put it in your game. Might be cool. But, like... I would... I could see myself no-lifing this if I knew I would be better than everyone else for putting time into it. But I don't think I would be. It's Nintendo, they're very casual. You can take gifts, okay. Competitive Pokemon is incredibly complicated. Complicated to BH. TBH, X stat. TBH. Oh. Alright, let me play Jurassic World, man. Don't look at that. Uh, if you have anything, or if you do not have anything planned for the stream, I recommend you try out Lords of the Rings game. I'm not clicking the link right now, Calvin. I, I do have plans for the stream. I... The one thing I need to do though is I have DreamHack coming up and I need to plan what games I'm going to play for the tournament. All right, new game. Hello and may I say welcome. Oh, may I say welcome? Oh, my name is Dr. Ian Malcolm. You may have heard of me. Well, correction, you should have heard of me, especially now that you're here. So before you are the islands that you need to manage if you can. 
The five deaths. Jeez, if only... If only there had been five. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your. Feet I need up the here. graphics, I think. And you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are, and uh, you want to be ready. Why are you guys you getting shit that? FPS? I think I fixed it. Oh shit! Yeah, if I tab out, if I tab into the game, you guys get shit FPS. I'm Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond Creation Lab. Hmm. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should Very just attach good. it to the side. This but is better. Watch out for dinosaurs. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Hmm. Hold on. I'm not even listening to what they're saying in the game. I'm trying to fix y'all shit. I got this issue with uh, Overwatch too. It's weird. Okay, everything's actually fine. Uh, I'm gonna move my cam up here. Construct a ham and creation lab. Not right now. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at the FPS. One sec. Looks kind of sh- yeah, looks shitty right now. How's this? Little better, but still shit. Hmm. It's on borderless. Yeah, I like playing on borderless window. I much prefer it. I mean, I can put it on windowed mode and then just window Thank capture it you. for you guys. Okay, now it's on just straight up windowed mode. Stream is 720p max. Not sure if you care or not. Don't care. Keep up the good work. Very good. Thank you for the 10, man. Yeah, a lot of people yelling at me right now, begging me to put on 1080p. It's just, ugh. I'm leaving on 720. Oh, did OBS just crash? Hold on. Am I still alive? Oh, people are saying it's 1080p. Okay, well, it's 1080p for everyone else, too. I don't know. Very good. God damn it. Why is this FPS being so difficult? Does it look smooth to you guys or no? Dude, my OBS is hitting the shit bag. When I right click or do. Something is wrong with my OBS. It very well may crash. I'm dead serious. What is wrong? Let me. I almost want to show you guys what's going on here. I'm gonna drag my OBS on this monitor so you can see. So watch. If I go here, look. See that? It. It takes so long. So I'll add a. What the fuck? <laughs> there we go. How does this happen? Okay, there's the window capture. Let's see how this looks. Feels a little better. Yeah, I think I'm gonna restart my PC, guys. Even though I reset it this morning, uh, I'm gonna start it over. So, I will, yeah, update and restart. There's an update and all that. All right, be right back, guys.